So I wanted to go next to John Morgan, FBC Home Loans. John, um, you know, what, what's new on the mortgage front? It looks like mortgage rates are, you know, uh, you know maybe up 0.1% over maybe the last time we spoke, still relatively low, but any new programs or, or new things out there that you want to make sure consumers are aware of? Uh, as far as programs, I mean, pretty much uh, what we've discussed on other shows. I mean, the, the jumbo uh, programs are back. Um, you know, higher loan to value, so I mean, you can still get the 100% down on VA and uh, USDA. Uh, the USDA maps are changing, so fewer areas will be under the USDA designation. Right, so, so, and that's something to, to motivate people that are thinking about buying out in areas like Wesley Chapel, Fishhawk Ranch, you know, out in East Hillsboro, you know, South Pasco, Land Lakes. Some of those areas, you know, are at risk, and, and, you know, if you've been looking and wanting to buy a home with the USDA loan and no money down, that, you know, you, you should do it now because you may not be able to get the 100% down in, you know, when the maps change. And when, when does that change? Uh, it's in October. Okay, so, so it's, it's right coming soon. Corner, yeah. Okay, yeah. but if someone were to go under contract now, they'd still be. Well, it's, they could. We'd have to get it into USDA very quickly. Because USDA so. is and like while molasses. They are. They're 30 days behind, but as long as it's into them, uh, you know, generally we can uh, get them to honor. That. You know, it's it's interesting because you know we've we've talked about this on the show before, and we've heard consumers say, "Oh, how hard it is to get a loan today." And and the reality is, it's just not true. It's it's not hard in terms of, um, you know, your ability to qualify. It's more documentation. It's more steps to go through. Right. I mean, not if you get the right lender that, that knows what questions to ask again and, and what documentation that you need up front. And it's like I always tell people, is we're going to tell you, you know, yes, no, and a, and, and a maybe. And the maybe comes with what these are the things that, that you need to do, and this is how much time we think it will take. So. Because there was a release this week from the Florida Realtors about how mortgage approvals are getting easier. And I think we've talked about this, too, because some of the – um, you know, programs of yesteryear, you know, the no doc loans, the, you know, low, some of that, and, and I want to say this cautiously, it isn't coming back the same way, but it's starting to eat back in there a little bit where banks are starting to be a little bit more open to some risk, you know, with, with mortgages. And so you're seeing, you know, lower credit scores get okay. There, there's some loosening up in that realm, basically. Right. And we've lowered our score down to 580, you know, with some overlays. It's right. not, it's, you're not going to get the same thing that somebody with a 740 has, but yeah, yeah, right. they're, they're out there. So for people out there that are, you know, because we'll have people come to us and say, oh, it's just, I've heard horror stories about getting a loan, so I'm just going to rent. And, and it, literally, you know, at least go through the process, at least determine what you can and can't do. Have your credit pulled, have your income checked. There's so much more. Uh, you know that you can do, and, and I think it's there's no secret that owning a home is is over the long term a much better financial decision for most people than renting. Not everybody, but most people. Um, unfortunately, it looks like Washington is wanting to make everybody a homeowner because there was a release this week about uh, HUD uh, wanting um, to increase home ownership, and and um, we're going to be back after a quick break. We're going to talk to Paul Arrington from Erico Property Management about some things he's seen in the marketplace and also my thoughts on uh, HUD's goal to increase homeownership after a quick break here on the Duncan Duo Show.